Did you know FMT Touring has been a part of the Walter Group for over a year? But how much do you actually know about FMT Touring? Well, I'm in the tech corner today with Chris, who's going to explain a bit more about it. So Chris, FMT, who are you? So, hi Tom. So FMT are a Portuguese company. We're part of the Fresite Group and we were purchased by Walter uh, a year ago. What were the benefits of becoming part of the Walter Group? Joining Walter is going to give us the ability to offer the, the lightweight material market a full solution for, for their cutting tool needs. So now Walter has got a full catalogue and can essentially do anything. Yeah, if, if you come to us with you know, composites or aluminium machining needs, we, we, we can fulfil it. So can you give me a bit of background on FMT? Yeah, so FMT are part of the Fresite Group. Um, originally started in, in woodworking cutting tools, but then expanded into metal cutting tools sort of 15, 20 years ago. Um, since then, we, we've expanded the group into uh, clamping systems, and then the most recent is space exploration. I'm sorry, but that is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, you brought some tooling with you today. PCD tooling, for, for people who don't know, what is it? So PCD is polycrystalline diamond tooling. Um, it's a type of tooling that if you're doing mass production in aluminium or, or other lightweight materials, it's going to last a lot longer than, than your current carbide or, or high speed steel machining tools. So what tools have you actually brought with you today? So in front of us here, we've just got a, a, a little example of what we can do, but you've got uh, multi-step finishing tools. You've got a, a PCD adjustable face mill. Uh, another multi-step uh, with a uh, PCD finishing tool with, with guide pads and then some of the later tooling that we've got is actually edge of part composite machining tools. So I want to just talk quickly about these stepped finishing tools because obviously full tool onto the holder for people at home they might be thinking well once I've used this and it's and it's worn do I just bin it and I have to buy a whole new um, yeah. tool and holder or can I send this back to you for resharpening and making new again? Yeah, the, the beauty of PCD tooling is that you can send it back to us for, for refurbishment uh, and you get a tool that comes back as new. So no, no uh, program changes. Uh, you, it's literally plug and play into this window. See, that must be quite good for people on production runs because obviously if, we're, if I ordered another tool and it comes and it's ever so slightly different, that's all my tolerances and everything out the window. So. Just being able to put that back in and press go again must be a real time saver. Yeah, it's, a, it's about reducing our, our customers' downtime. So reducing non-productive spindle time, um, reducing the amount of tool changes that you need to do by combining multiple tools into one application, um, reducing setting time. So what sort of industries benefit really from PCD tooling? So multiple industries, so we've got uh, aerospace, automotive, uh, we've got customers in oil and gas applications, energy, anything where you need to machine lightweight aluminium or, or composite materials. And then obviously, just quick before we finish, I just want to talk a bit about this face mill because it looks a bit scary more than anything. <laughs> but um, obviously, all these tips, if, if, I, if I break one of these, can I just send that one pocket back or do I need to send the whole face mill back? No, you can just send the individual cartridges back. And then how do I make sure that all, because obviously you've got quite a few inserts on there, how do I make sure they're all sort of the same height? So the idea is that each tip on this one is, is fully adjustable, so you, you preset it on your preset before you put it onto the spindle. Um, if you don't have a preset, we also do a brace solution that is uh, a plug and play. And then last thing obviously what happens because i know um with pcd tooling and aluminium it's it's a lot in automotive engine blocks so the finish has got to be absolutely perfect and people use fly cutters can i do any sort of can i use just one tip on this face mill yeah if you wanted to you could do just one tip out and then um that could act as a scribing tip to, to get your surface finish requirement which obviously must be better on that because obviously i know some people end up just taking all inserts but one an out which must throw the balance of the tool so if anyone at home has been watching and thinks pcd tooling could be for them how can they get in contact with you so best way now that we're part of the walter group is to go to walter-tools.com and get in contact through there or get in contact through your local walter representative 